Okay guys, let's take a look at the output transformer that test open on the primary side that uh, someone left in place mounted to the speaker frame. I'm going to go ahead and break this thing apart and see what we can uncover. Well, you know, I've got a uh, solder to connection right here. Let me just recheck from this point back over to this lead and uh, make certain it's still open in this area. It would be cool if it was that simple of a fix. You guys can see the meter in the background. No such luck here. Still open. But that doesn't mean we don't have a uh, cold solder joint or things are broke right in this area, but that appears not to be the case. If it's showing up, you can see the uh, small magnet wire, probably a 40 plus AWG. Let me see if I can get access to this area as well, see if anything's broke off here. Ah, well, I broke it, or it was already broke. You may be able to see that there on my glove. So this was in this area. Let me try to remove a little bit more of the uh, transformer tape. See if I can uh, locate the broken winding. Try to get this where you guys can see this. Got one lead out here, one lead out here. So let me uh, see if I can get some good continuity back to those and uh, retest and uh, see if we'll be back in business or if the uh, fault is more toward the uh, inner core itself. All right, let me see if I can get my meter leads attached. And what do you know? Looks like we're in business here. Looks like the problem, which is very common to be right there at the uh, lead dress. Let me uh, go ahead and put a few new leads on and see if I can tape this down and secure it. We'll come back and do some additional testing. And a look at the output transformer mounted back to the uh, speaker frame. Let me energize the uh, fuel coil to about 30, 40 milliamps.
Thanks for watching, folks. More to come soon.